All right, well, today will kick off the first full week for many Texas businesses now open after being shut down due to COVID-19. And if you have an appointment with your doctor or your dentist, you can expect some changes, and we want you to be ready for them. Bree Berry joins us live now with what you need to know. Bree. Good morning, Samika. Good morning to all of you. If you've had some missed appointments that you're trying to make up for, just know there will be changes. So we spoke with the doctor in the Woodlands. He said they're doing everything from providing masks to those who need it, social distancing in the lobby. Maybe you'll have to wait out in your car for your appointment. A lot of changes to come, but to make it smoother, here's what you need to know. All dentist offices in Texas reopened on Friday for elective procedures. These are the changes you'll notice. Dental staff within six feet of procedures are required to wear medical grade mask. Dentists and staff can only use hand instruments and low speed tools for hygiene procedures. And they've been asked to limit aerosol tools, which create droplets and clouds of germs that can last for hours in the air. We'll start seeing patients again. 3 R regenerative repair and relief. Dr. Jeffrey Pruski says medical professionals are excited to get back to work. He says he and his staff in the Woodlands are taking extra precautions as they begin their first full week back. We have a very large lobby, but if it becomes a little uh, more than five or six patients, we'll have them sit in the car and then we call them at the time of their appointment. Some other changes you can expect to see in doctor's offices. Well, you may have to be screened over the phone before scheduling your appointment to make sure you're safe to physically enter the building. Staff will help you fill out paperwork so that too many people aren't touching the same items. You'll be asked to attend your appointment alone unless you need special care. Clinics and offices will require masks be worn to appointments or they may provide you with one if you don't have one. And physicians will also be required to wear a mask whenever six feet from a patient. And you're reducing the number of patients that we see and uh, we're, we're, we're not utilizing any medications that would reduce the immune system or um, lower the immune system for patients uh, at all. And of course, those patients that are higher risk, you know, that have autoimmune disorders, we're again encouraging them to stay at home as well as the elderly. Now, Dr. Pruski said it seems like most people want to make their appointments, their calendars filling up. But we did check on Friday with a number of clinics and offices around the area, and all of them said they are still providing those telemedicine appointments, Tom, so that if somebody is a little nervous to come in in person or maybe it's for something that they don't need to be in person for, they're still offering that at this time for at least the foreseeable future. Back to you. Okay. Thanks, Bree. Well,